Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery. We've got a product video for you today. We wanted to talk to you about the AAE Freak Show Quick Disconnect with Sling Blade. This is a great new rest from AAE that came out, uh, designed by pro archer Jesse Broadwater. Um, and it just has a ton of features in it that we're going to tell you about. <clears throat> so, in the pack, you're of course going to get uh, the rest. Um, and this one comes with the uh, standard 10,000th blade um, attached to it. You're also going to get a wide 12,000th blade in the pack as well. Um, then you're going to get two different quick disconnect mounts. I'll talk to you about how they work. You're going to get um, several different size bolts. Uh, and a locking screw. You're also going to get this tool that handles some of the um, Allen screws on here and we'll talk about how that works as well. The main feature of this rest, the Freak Show has been around for a while, but as the name says, this one is a quick disconnect. So I've got my fake riser here and um, the two mounting blocks that you get, one of them is for uh, the bow risers that have a single burger button hole and this one here is for those that have two holes here. Uh, some of the newer bows have two holes for locking down your rest. Um, AAE gives you mounts for both. So what I have installed here is the mount for the bow that has a single burger hole and a cool feature on the top here you're going to notice a level. If I were mounting this on my bow, I would have my riser uh, in a vise and I would have everything leveled. Once I do that, then I can check the level on the top of my mount here to make sure that it is level so my, I know my rest is going to be um, level as well. So once I have my mount, we're going to assume that it's properly leveled. I've got my bolt in there. Then I have this little recessed locking screw right here. I'm going to mount this in this center hole in the bottom there. That's going to hold it in place. Once I have that tightened down, now my rest is, or now my mounting block isn't going to move. Uh, then on the top here, you've got these three teeth that you can see. <clears throat> and on the inside of the Freak Show arm, you're going to see the lines that correspond to how they sit in those teeth. And there's a little white line etched on the front there. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting, but there is a white line. That's going to allow me to see where I am on this rest. So right now I am in the number four position. That line is right under the number four. If I wanted to move the rest back, I can do that. Those teeth are holding it in place. Um, so if I pop this off, all I need to know is where that white line is and I can put it right back to that spot. So right now I have it in the number four position. I'm going to take my second half inch bolt with the washer and now I'm going to mount this into the threaded hole that was open on that mounting block. Lock this in. Tighten that down and now that, that rest is securely locked in place. Again, as we mentioned, if I wanted to take this off, move it to another bow, or just take it off for transportation, just unscrew this, pop it off, and I know exactly where to put it back to get it back in place. Uh, but now, so my rest is mounted. Um, let's talk about some of the other standard features of the Freak Show rest. What you have here is the locking screw for elevation. So if I needed to raise or lower, I would simply loosen that bolt and then underneath here, this is my adjustment for now I'm lowering the rest 
turn it clockwise and it's raising the rest. Once I get it positioned exactly where I want, just lock this down. Now the rest won't move. Similarly, on the top here, we're going to notice uh, this Allen screw. If I loosen that one, then this is my windage knob. So I turn that and the rest moves left and right. I can get it to where I want to set it. Inside here, there are a total of three holes that I can move this bolt to. Let's say I've got one of the uh, newer bows with a really thick riser. I could move this bolt over and that gives me more left and right range. Uh, so you would just uh, take this bolt all the way out and then put it in the appropriate hole inside there. It comes mounted in the center hole. Obviously that's going to be uh, the most universal. Um, but once I get my windage set, just tighten that down and now my windage is locked into place. Now coming over to the sling blade and the sling blade attachment uh, feature of this rest. You're going to notice here the blade is mounted. This is a 38 degree angle mounting block on there. Now it is mounted in this special sling blade arm right here. Inside here there are a series of holes. So. As I'm tuning and I figure out where I want this rest to sit, let's say I wanted to move it, I can take out this screw and you can see all the different mounting locations that I have on the inside here. What these holes allow is they allow for a total of one and a half inches of blade movement, forward or back. And you can see here I have the um, the sling blade arm right now is going forward. Let's say I wanted that inch and a half adjustment to be backwards. Okay, so I can flip this arm to go the other direction. And to do that, I have a screw under here. That's a locking screw. I just want to loosen that. I loosen that screw. This uh, bolt here, this sets the angle of the sling blade arm. So, now watch this arm here. I just flipped it backwards. So now all of my blade adjustments are farther back, which is handy. So you can really dial in exactly where you want this rest to sit. You know, as you're doing your torque tuning, trying to find exactly the perfect spot, the most forgiving spot uh, for your blade position. That's what's going to help with that. This block has a connector piece that guides it perfectly. So it is always going to be level to this arm, no matter which hole you mount it in, that piece guides it to exactly the right position. So you're not going to have to worry about your blade going up and down. Now the other use for, um, let's say I'm keeping my arm in this position there, but I want to change the angle of this blade. Loosen that locking screw and now I can play with the blade angle. You can see that moving up and down, get it exactly where I want it. There are matching laser etchings. There's a white line that's on this uh, arm here. And then there's a series of lines on the body here. And I just figure out exactly which line, match up the two lines to where I need them to be. And then I can always get my blade back to the right position there. Just come back, make sure I tighten my lockdown screw. And now my blade is held firmly into place there. So one of the cool features about the blades, how they mount on the Freak Show rests, is there's a little, you can change blades 
without worrying about the tune of the blades. That is exactly how it sits on this mounting block. Uh, AAE has a unique connection here. I just take this screw out to change my blades. And what you're going to notice is the holes on these blades, there, there's a, it's a hexagonal hole. And on the top of the mounting block here, there is a little uh, raised hexagonal receiver. So if I just take my new, let's say this is a different blade, it just perfectly aligns into that hexagonal receiver. So it's always in the exact same spot. Don't have to worry about it sliding up and down underneath the bolt. So once I tighten it down, I know it's exactly in the same spot. So if I broke a blade or I switch blades for whatever reason, it's always going to go exactly where the other one was. So that's a great feature as well. So as we were talking about, there are two mounting blocks, quick disconnect mounting blocks. Um, this is the one that I would use if I had two burger holes on my bow riser. And what I would do for that is just like with the single mount, I take my half inch bolt, put it in there, I attach that to the bow. Then once I put on my rest, I would use this one and a quarter inch bolt with the washer, put this into that second hole, and now as you can see, I'd be screwing that all the way into the bow itself. So now I have two bolts holding that rest in position in each of the burger holes on my bow. I can have multiple bodies. The advantage of the quick disconnect is I can take this off, move it to different bows, always have it set up. Uh, it's just a great convenient feature, um, a, a new development in the Freak Show rest. Uh, to have that quick disconnect and to have the sling blade so that I can play with my blade alignment. Um, so that's the AAE Freak Show Quick Disconnect with Sling Blade Arrow Rest. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. And as always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.